Hey guys! In my last video on Sunday, you saw that I have moved out of this traveler's notebook um, and into a different planner, which I will show you in July. Um, but I, before I moved out, I filled up a planning insert, so I thought I would show you beginning to end how that looked, because I did that last time, um, and just sort of see how things evolved over the weeks. So this is the field notes that I had my daily planning in. It's the, let's say the, sh I forget, I think it's called the Shenandoah Collection. Um, each of these notebooks has like a different tree. This one says red maple, so it's got the like green uh, summer color of the leaves on the outside and then the autumn color on the inside. So this one's red in the autumn and this sort of, I don't know, yellowy, dirty sage color in the spring and summer. So that's cool. I don't know much about deciduous trees. I live in California where they never change color. Um, anyway, so I began this collection. I believe this is, yes, this is February 19th, which was President's Day. And that was, man, that was a great day. That was such a good day that I actually like sat down and was like, this is awesome. I'm going to film a vlog about how much I got done today. <laughs> so this here is like... Is that right? No, this here is my uh, weekly to-do list. So this is, the, this is just the weekly spread. I have an Alistair um, like weekly checklist here for video production. Um, meal planning here, just highlighted each as, I, as we ate it. And then this is just a standard um, habit tracker. I think most of these things pr stayed pretty regular for most of this. Um, we can kind of see as we go. This is a weekly to-do list. Um, these things that I put the stripe next to were chores around the house or things I needed to clean. And I wanted them to sort of stand out uh, so that I knew not to worry about them when I wasn't at the house, I guess. Anyway, so on Monday, I had been collecting a list of things, uh, errands I wanted to do because I had the day off for President's Day, but my husband didn't. So I was going to be home alone or, you know, like we couldn't go out and just do something as a family. So I was like, let's save up all of these different errands to run. So I went to Joann's, Ross, Costco, the grocery store, the pet store, Walmart, got like some laundry done because at this point we didn't have our own washer dryer. I was doing laundry at the in-laws house up the street. So I had to go back and forth. And so I ended up making like a timeline of my day. <laughs> I put times here when I was doing the laundry so I would know, okay, I swapped the laundry uh, at 12.30. So it's going to be another hour before that load is dry and I can go back. And so I was doing other things in between running different errands. And it was crazy, but it was really productive. <laughs> um, and then yeah here's just tuesday this is what my daily has looked like this is like a throwback to early 26 no early 2017 when i um started in a traveler's notebook for the first time this is sort of what my daily has looked like and yeah i had just one for the weekend because unless there's a lot going on that's like out of the house and even if there is, like, I tend to have one list of things I want to get done over the weekend, like chores and such, on, like, one list. Then this is pretty much the same. The exception is that I didn't put meals here. I put them here. Ah, and I couldn't highlight them because there was already, like, the header was highlighted, so I just left it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I had Lenten sacrifices on my tracker and figured I didn't need that after a while. Um, I got all my Bible, I started getting all my Bible study homework done in one day. So like you'll see here, I did it all on Tuesday, so I didn't need to do it Wednesday and then I didn't do it till Sunday. But I did all of it on Sunday so that I didn't have to do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I did it all on Sunday again here. So anyway... I think after this week, I stopped putting Bible study homework on my tracker because it wasn't something I felt like I needed to do every day anymore. Sticker from Hobby Lobby. And yeah, I liked I liked how um, 
the mild liner and the washi tapes and the sticker all kind of went together. And then these here are the clean stuff around the house chores. And instead of having them in the middle of the list, like the week before here, I put them down here. Um, so that again, they wouldn't like get in the way of things that I was trying to do that weren't cleaning the house. The best of intentions, you can probably guess where this is going to be going anyway. Uh, oh yeah. So I started doing my weekends like this, where I have events for Saturday, Sunday up here, but then just one to-do list and that worked well. Uh, so yeah, this night I was planning to be like all productive and stuff, but instead we went out to dinner. <laughs> uh, this is, yeah, this is the same, like same layout. Oh, I did some of my Bible study homework on Monday that week. So there you go. And this day I never bothered filling it in with highlighter. It was just little check marks. Um, but yeah, pretty much the same layout. Um, I put my meal planning up here. I think this is the week that I did meal planning as a video. And so I didn't make room for it up here before I filmed that. Um, but it was fine. Basically, I just crossed the things out as I ate them so that we knew that, yeah, that it happened. <laughs> and then same weekend to-do list um, slash like event stuff. And I'm here, yeah, I pretty much pretty consistently using a check box for a, a um, an errand and just a dot for just a general to-do like around the house. And then this week is the week that everything went crazy. Well, not crazy. It was just, I used a different layout. This is the week that I went to Las Vegas for a work trip. So this strip of washi tape shows when I was out of town and I had two boxes for each day. I had events and tasks and it worked so well that I decided to keep it. So I actually didn't do dailies this week because there wasn't a lot of things that I could get done because I was going to be just in meetings and work dinners and stuff uh, the whole time. So I just have this general to-do list that I didn't assign to a day. I just checked them off when it was done. And a couple to-dos that were day specific. So then the next week, even though I was home, I decided to do the same layout. I threw the meal planning in the middle here. That was a clever little turn there. Um, and yeah, same thing. Did I do dailies here? I did not. I still have um, just a general to-do list that I checked off as I got it done. I really do find though, I think after this week I decided I really prefer to know when I got something done. Um, just, I don't know, for my own like, yes, I did it on Monday, not on Tuesday. I can, I'm a person who does things on Mondays, whatever. Um, I put a little triangle next to the videos I wanted to get done and I filled those in when they finished. Um, instead of having something to check off. And then this is also the week of, right? No, this is actually the week after St. Patrick's Day, but I decided to go green anyway. Then this was Holy Week, which is why it's all purple. Um, same layout again, same layout here, but I, I did the Alistair column so that I would know when I got something done. Um, and then I also threw in dailies. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So Thursday, Friday, I did not do dailies because I was at church for most of the day, right? Thursday is like work and then straight to church and stayed up late. Friday, we were at church all day. And then Holy Saturday is that day where you like weirdly getting stuff done, even though it's still in the middle of Holy Week, but it was good. Um, trying to figure out, I put, I put times next to the things I did. I don't remember why. Maybe I was just doing them all. Yeah, I put everything in the order I wanted to get them done. Yeah, and then I was like, yeah, let's be productive and put times. And I guess it must have worked because everything's checked off. Week after, this is the week of, first week of Easter. Um, and everything is, oh, this is when I started, yes, yeah, when I started one month in my bullet journal. Use the same layout again. And then over the weekend was when, or specifically on Sunday, it looks like, was when I did that time tracking thing where I just said, okay, from two to 10, here's, you know, what you can get done. And I color coded my different tasks. And then I, um, I marked like which task I was, or which kind of task I was working on. 
and that was also very motivating. Time tracking can be a very motivating thing is apparently the theme so far of this video. And I threw in that little quote that I thought was funny. All right, then we go back to sort of a kind of more of a style of daily that I had done previously. Um, Alistair weekly to-do lists. These are projects. Yes, because I was separating to-dos from projects because a project you can't just check it off once and if it's in the Alistair weeks you can check it off multiple days but it's easy if you see a check mark there to think that it doesn't need to be done again um, and then start doing kick counts here's my weekly tracker start taking iron oh yeah and remember this week I did, I was, I immediately regretted my decision to use my stencil for my daily headers because it was like the largest chunk of what I was doing that day um, in my setup videos was just drawing it out and doing a terrible job at it. And uh, then the mild, sorry, the uh, fine liners were just bleeding through. Emily's bachelorette party here where I was keeping things secretive and not telling you what I was actually doing, uh, even as I was filming it. And then what happened here? Oh, this, yeah. So at the end of that week, I really felt like I needed, like I was due for a brain dump um, because I had spent so much time working on planning this party. Uh, I think after that, like on Sunday, I really just needed to reset and figure out where I was. So this is all just a brain dump. It started as a too clean list that didn't get very far. Oh, and then, oh, that's also what it was. Is this Saturday? We were going door to door for the church and it was just too much walking. I was walking for two hours and it, by Sunday I was just in so much pain um, in my pelvis from like the weight of the baby and stuff. They call it SPD um, that I decided not to do anything that involved cleaning. So I did a brain dump and I helped like sort of figure out what needed to get done. Um, and then I did things around the house or like specifically at my desk that day. Um, yeah, I, I migrated some things that I hadn't done and then did other things that I didn't need to move around for, like processing my brain dump. It was good. Then this is the week that I decided to do the silly little Dutch door method where um, it worked. I mean, this is where I have my dailies like figured out in advance where they're going to go. So I kind of enjoy that sometimes having a place like if I know, oh, I need to do that on, on Friday, then I'll just write it where Friday is instead of having to either, like the Alistair weeks work for that, uh, where you can then put a dot in the Friday column. Um, but it's also nice having a space every day. And as you'll see here, I never did get around to adding more doodles to these sections because I was not committed to it and it didn't matter. But yeah, having a place for meal planning is always good too. And then this was the week of my sister's wedding where I thought that I was going to be using this all the time to um, to keep track of all the stuff we needed to do. But really, in reality, I barely pulled it out because it was mostly just things that I needed to do in the moment and not stuff I needed to plan for. And then I set up the, my Monday the 30th uh, in my very last plan with or, what was it called? One month of my bullet journal video and then never actually used it because uh, like I told you, I was secretly already moving into uh, a different planner, which I keep mentioning, but not showing you. And then that's it. So you know, yeah, this is how I do. This is how I do things. I like my weeklies and I really, if I don't have a weekly, I feel like I'm just floating from day to day without sort of a home base. So it's good to have different kinds of weekly styles to fall back on what, depending on what I need. So that is what my planning insert looked like uh, once I started actually decorating my dailies and stuff. And that's where we are. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I appreciate that very much. And I will see you guys in the next video on Sunday. Bye.